The cynical view would be to take Choice Provisions Destructor Mundo, the second game released under the Minivisions label, as the polar opposite of its debut, Woe Dave, where Woe Dave was something simply presented and hiding uh, a game of quite incredible depth and intricacies. Destructor Mundo seems something that's very ornately laid out and seems to be very carefully put together, but in actual fact is more a game of trial and error. But that's kind of doing the game a little bit of injustice, as really every puzzle game has a slight element of trial and error to it, and the accidental victories that do take place in Destructor Mundo are immensely satisfying, as immensely satisfying as just managing to, to squeeze out a multi-chain combo in Super Puzzle Fighter or Buster Move, games of that ilk. This is a game all about combos and chain reactions and how satisfying those are. It's the puzzling equivalent of every extend extra in many a way. You have a screen of different planetoids and what you want to do is use your finger to tap and trigger an explosion, which hopefully is big enough to blow up something that's near it, and hopefully big enough to blow up something that's near that, and so on, um, until you manage to destroy the entire screen and all of the civilians, the harmless people that live on each of these planetoids, uh, with one press of your almighty finger, what hath man wrought. It's a challenge then of placement and timing as you have to figure out the orbits of these uh, different planets and whatnot in order to make sure that your perfectly placed explosive manages to set the dominoes in motion at just the right time. And that's what's kind of most frustrating about Destructor Mundo. There is a method to the madness. You typically want to uh, destroy force fields as soon as possible. The, the pink shiny planets uh, will take two hits um, in order to explode. Uh, you also want to get the, uh, the super big explosives that drill down into the core of a planet system. Uh, you want to sort of blow those up as quickly as possible because they trigger the biggest explosions uh, that can do the most damage. But even knowing all this, there is just this massive er um, effort of trial and error involved and uh, trying and retrying a stage until you finally hit the, uh, the level's required sweet spot. It's just... It feels a little bit inelegant um, as compared to Woe Dave, which was very carefully thought through. There is something immensely satisfying with getting things right. Um, it's just that getting things wrong just doesn't really feel like your fault most of the time. Uh, happily to make things easier, you do have an array of power-ups. If you manage to perfect a stage, then you have a short uh, chance to find another sweet spot of interconnected uh, resource orbs and if you manage to tap as many as you possibly can uh, then you have enough currency to unlock one of three power-ups. They make your job much much easier uh, when going back and trying to perfect earlier stages that you've missed and later on they come into play as essential things to, to figure out. Um, but even with those wrinkles that power-ups create, the game doesn't really advance too, too much over its uh, three separate stages. Uh, you might have, for instance, resource ships that travel from planet to planet, and so an added element of timing involved in terms of, of setting those ships are burning so that they explode in just the right areas. But really, you're still doing that same thing, the trial, the error, the, is that the right place? Oh no, it's not. Is that the right place? Yes, but at the wrong time. Is that the right place and the right time? Hopefully. It's just, it feels a little bit repetitive and, and a bit of a disappointment. But despite all that, just the draw of destruction, just the, the draw of that carefully laid out sequence of dominoes, uh, all falling over in the right order, just right in your face, is immensely satisfying, and it's all accompanied by some smart and funny writing as well. So there is a lot of charm in this second mini vision. It's just not quite as cognitive as an experience as you might think. For more Total Carnage, check out kaijupop.com.